thanks for choosing Fleet Express from Inmarsat. To ensure a smooth and successful installation, we need your help to follow the preparation steps outlined in the pre-installation guide and checklist that will be sent. Before an engineer can go on board to perform the commissioning, it is important that the pre-installation work and checklist are completed. Inmarsat's project manager will recommend the placement and height of antenna pedestals in cooperation with the customer. These specifications are also a part of the detailed installation guide provided. Antenna placement approved. Suitable connection of the pedestal to the vessel. Safe access and standing platforms. Antenna sight lines free from obstruction. Inmarsat will as a minimum supply the coaxial cables. If you intend to supply the cables on your own, it must meet the Inmarsat specification and be approved by us. These cables will need to be installed and run by the ship's engineering team. Inmarsat approved coaxial cables. Cables to be installed by ship's engineering team. Maritime rugged power cables are required. Functioning gyro cable installed and connected. Ensure correct bend and coil radiuses. The cabinet should be placed in a clean and air-conditioned environment. Avoid placing it nearby or under places with risk of water leakages. The cabinet needs to be mounted on a stand and ideally close to power source, gyro source and network points to avoid long cable runs. Cabinet placed in a clean and air-conditioned environment. Avoid areas prone to water leakages. Mount on a stand with access to power, gyro and network. Easy access is required. Room for fans to function. The domes can now be installed and connected to the system. Final tests to verify satellite connectivity will be performed by the Inmarsat engineer and network operation center. It is vital that any fabrication work is undertaken well in advance of the installation. Any delay in cable runs, access to power and gyro source can cause significant delays and potential extra costs. The Inmarsat certified technician will first verify the pre-installation work status. Provided all is in order, the following scope is covered. Terminate cables. Commission the link. Test and verify data and phone lines. Document installation. Captain and crew training. In case the pre-installation work is not completed according to the checklist, it will be considered as out-of-scope work and this will be charged in addition to the cost quoted for the attendance.